Welcome back friends to Average Joe's Barbecue. On today's episode, we're going to, be, going to be doing smoked Hasselback potatoes two different ways. Steak and cheese and jalapeno popper. You're not going to want to miss this one. Stay tuned. Welcome back friends, let's jump right in. What I have in front of me, two tins of uh, baker's potatoes, three in each. We're gonna be doing two different ways, like I said. Over here, this is gonna be the jalapeno popper side. So here I got some jalapeno rounds, freshly chopped, some cheddar cheese, shredded, and my cream cheese mixture. And the cream cheese mixture is very simple. It's just a brick of cream cheese, uh, some four or five diced jalapenos, uh, a little bit of this cheddar cheese, and about a pound of my smoked bacon. And folks, if you need to know how to smoke bacon, I have a video on that, be sure to check that out. Over here, I have ribeye steak, cut into strips, like that, and mozzarella cheese. So, how did we get here? Well, I'm gonna show you. So, this technique is called Hasselback, and it's very, very simple to do. You take your potato, and this is a pro tip here. Grab two utensils of the same width. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna prevent us from cutting all the way down through the bottom of these potatoes. So you get this beautiful um, kind of texture presentation piece like this. So to do this, it's very simple. Just cut through, just like that. And you can go as thick or as thin as you like. Just like that. So once you have it like this, all I did was rub it with olive oil and I smoked them for about an hour and a half at 350 degrees. So that's where we are. So now let's go ahead and get these things stuffed. For the popper variety, all we're simply gonna do is take a, a round of our jalapeno popper, move it over one slit, stuff it with a little cheese. Next slip, popper, jalapeno, excuse me, and then more cheese. And we're just going to keep going this all the way down. Folks, that's, that's about what it should look like when you've got it stuffed. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and lather it with our cream cheese mixture. Now it's a little cool out today, so this cream cheese isn't as pliable as it once was. And essentially, all you're going to do is kind of just lather it on. That's it. So let's go ahead and jump to the steak side. Same principle. Take your strip of ribeye, stick it in the slat, a strip of mozzarella, and just keep alternating. Now, I'm doing two varieties today because, you know, it's good to have options. Hasselback potatoes can be done a number of different ways. I mean, you just Google search it. There's so many different ways to do these things. Um, I always encourage folks to put their own spin on things. Um, you know, around here we like steak and cheese, so that's always an option. You know, but um, you know, some people might not like the jalapeno. So I mean, give, give your family and guests options. Alright, 
So, should look like that when you're done. And so what I like to do is just kind of like what we did with the jalapeno side. It's like just top it with a little more cheese. And that's it. So I'll go ahead and get the rest of these built out and I'll meet you over at the grill. Stay tuned. Welcome back folks. We're gonna be on the uh, Grill of Grill Silverback today. We're gonna to be running this at about 350 degrees and we're gonna be using hickory for this cook. We can plan to expect at probably about 40 to 45 minutes. Um, everything's already cooked. We're essentially just wanna get the, all the cheeses melted and looking good. So plan for 40, 45 minutes. Let's go ahead and get it inside. Folks, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a check at the halfway mark, so I'll bring you back in about 20, 25 minutes. See you soon. Welcome back, folks. It's been about 20 minutes. Let's give this a check. Cheese right. is starting to melt. This side is starting to get a little bit of a, taking on a little bit of smoke. It's starting to look really good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this run out for another 20, 25 minutes, and I'll bring you back for the reveal. Stay tuned. Welcome back, friends. It's been about 45 minutes. This could be a check. Oh, yeah. He's already done. Get a close-up on this. These look so good. The browning's starting to happen. All right, folks, we're gonna go ahead and get these pulled and plated, and we'll bring you back for the reveal. Stay tuned. Welcome back, friends. We got these pulled and plated. Let's take a look. You can only smell this. This smells so good right now. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this down the center to give you guys a good reveal shot. Popper one, and now the steak. Oh, that looks good. All right, folks. Go ahead and start with the popper one. Cheers, folks. like the potato steamed the popper yeah it tastes like jalapeno that is really good let's try the steak cheers well smokiness of steak and potato really good Folks, perfect holiday meal, side dish. Very, very good. Did not take a lot of effort at all. If you like what you saw here today, hit the like and subscribe. Otherwise, folks, I'll see you next time. Take care.